Hey guys, you're here with Chris and Gora, the King Dogs from Pink Dogs, and you are here for your free picking Liverpool versus Real Madrid matchup in the UEFA Champions League finals on Saturday, May 28. Chris, finally, the game of the season, as uh, I would call it, the game of the season, and it, I think it's going to be a very interesting finals. It's going to be a fun game to watch. It's being played at uh, Stade de France in, in Paris, and. Uh, neutral value for two, I would say, probably two of the most consistent teams this season overall. Yeah, Paris, a city that is uh, is very, very familiar to uh, Tekarim Benzema, and uh, you know, I think he might try to step up on the big stage here, but all joking about my shirt aside here, you know, I, I think I, I if that didn't I didn't even where, have to mention it. If, well, I knew if you weren't oh, going to, oh, somebody oh. In, in the comments was going to. If that doesn't tell you sort of where I'm going with this one, take my fandom out of this equation. I got to go with Real Madrid to lift the trophy at plus 137. I, I just think that you're, you're getting plus money in what should be, in my opinion, a coin flip game. Real Madrid, I get it. You know, they don't have necessarily the uh, the allure and the star power that maybe Liverpool does. Liverpool basically run roughshod for the most part up until the final. But Real Madrid scratched and clawed their way to this spot. You know, nobody really gave much of a shot in the, in the few, last few minutes against Manchester City. And, you know, Real Madrid rallied and, and found a way to get that win. I don't expect it to be easy here. I'm not expecting a cakewalk by any stretch of the imagination. But to get Real Madrid with the tear they've been on and a player as in form as Kareem Benzema has been, especially in Europe, at plus 137 to lift the trophy, I've got to take it. That's too much value for me to pass on. You know what? Uh, I got to give credit to Real Madrid. Yes, they have clawed and fought their way to the finals. They have knocked out PSG. They knocked out Chelsea. They knocked out uh, Manchester City in the semifinals. Yes, they have had a very hard schedule in those knockouts. But in each of those matchups, they had two legs to go through. And they always had to come back by losing that first leg. Now, oh, man, I, I think it's going to be a tough game, definitely. And uh, you can never really write off Real Madrid because they are an outstanding team. And like you said, Karim Benzema has been in outstanding form this season, assisting, scoring, uh, producing chances, playmaking, anything, defending, anything you can think of. But I just got to go with Liverpool here, to be honest. I, I think that Liverpool has been far more consistent this season and uh, better defensively. And now I would assume that Salah will be back at his best because he got, what, a couple of goals in the last EPL game last weekend. Mane has been outstanding out, outstanding as well. Uh, Luis Diaz in excellent form. Thiago is healthy and, and, and ready to play in this game. Van Dijk will be back uh, in the starting lineup. Can they keep a clean sheet against Real Madrid? I don't think so. But I think they can outscore them, and I think they will. So uh, I will take Liverpool to win and both teams to score. It's plus 260. And uh, Liverpool lost to Real Madrid in 2018 finals, if I'm not mistaken, after Salah got hurt in the first half. But uh, I think it's payback time. I get the point to be made here that, uh, like you said, Gordon, that Real Madrid had had lost the first leg of two of their of their first three, but again they did beat Chelsea three to one in that uh, in that quarterfinal. Yeah, they lost to Manchester City, but they still scored three goals against City in that game to sort of give themselves a bit of a chance here. And I think there's something to be said for being battle tested coming into the final. Look at Real Madrid's road: PSG, Chelsea, City, and now Liverpool. Where Liverpool had to play Inter Milan. Okay, I'll give Inter Milan credit. But Benfica and Villarreal, you, you put a, put Villarreal and Benfica up against Chelsea and Manchester City. I'm going to take that that tougher road to, to say to steel sharpen steel a little bit. And I, I talked about Benzema, but for me, Vinicius Jr. And, and Luka Modric, and you know this is still a, a stacked Real Madrid team in my opinion. So that's kind of why I still had to stick with Real Madrid to lift the trophy, but uh, we'll have to see. I do agree, Chris, honestly. I, I think that Real Madrid is a fantastic team, like – Kind of a perfect mix of youth and uh, and a lot of experience with, like you said, the players like 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 Tony Kroos, Modric, Benzema, and some others, even David Alaba at the back. However, we gotta agree that they were lucky a lot 
in those knockout games. Now, either that luck is going to run out when it's not supposed to run out, or they're going to win all of it, right? So I don't think they will. I think Liverpool is the better team here overall, and I think they will get the title, but I guess we will see, Chris. Like I said, you guys, everybody's got to take this with a grain of salt. You've got a Barcelona fan rooting against Real Madrid <laughs> and an Everton fan rooting against Liverpool. So it's it's we're gonna have to we're gonna have to see. Yeah, there you have it, guys. That was your free pick in Liverpool versus Real Madrid matchup in the UEFA Champions League finals on Saturday, May twenty eighth. For our best bets, go to Pink Dog's previous section and check those out. And for the rest of our videos, go to YouTube Pink Dog channel, subscribe, hit that like button. And we'll see you guys soon with more free winners.